check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. You know what happened on NXT last night, don't you? Oh, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Javon Evans against my main man, Joe Coffey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Of course, Joe Coffey beat him. Well, of course he did. And you know... That's how wrestling uh, works, Brian. You know, you know, the thing about it that's, like, so irritating is, did you guys watch this show? I don't know what happened. I don't know what was going on. But this freaking crowd was dead all night. They didn't care about anything. Nothing. They had everybody out there. Nobody cared about anything. Except for one guy. There was one guy that they chanted for throughout the match. They chanted, he's bouncy. They chanted, young OG. He was the only guy on the show they cared about. And of course, he gets beaten by Joe Coffey. Because of course he did. Ugh. Who cares? Why do I even bother? It's not my company. I'm doing just fine. Actually, I'm not, but that's another story. Back in a moment, Observer Live. What this Javon thing is? What's that? Somebody in the chat's like, ah, trying to spite their audience again. It's like, no. They're not trying to spite their audience. It's a different problem. You want to know what the problem is? What's okay. That? Shawn Michaels, who I generally think is a very good booker, I like a lot of what he does. But, like, this guy loves Joe Coffey. <laughs> he loves this guy. He's How good. many times? I know he's a solid worker, okay? He those. He's not over. He's never been over with the audience. They don't care about him at all. They never have. They've pushed him and pushed him, and nobody cares, okay? But... Sean loves him. And so this happens every few months. Gallus shows up. Joe Coffey beats somebody who you're like, what? And then, of course, that person goes on. They have a feud, and he ends up winning in the end. Okay. The th here's the problem with this, this Javon Evans thing. They're not booking to spite the audience. They're booking to try to get him over. Okay? He faces Joe Coffey. The rest of Gallus gets involved. He gets screwed. He gets beaten. You're supposed to feel sympathetic. He gets a partner who, for the love of God, is going to be Cedric Alexander, who's another guy that nobody cares about. I don't know how this is going to happen, but the point is they're going to have a match. They'll have a feud with Gallus. I'm sure they'll win the tag match. Maybe they'll be beaten first, probably, actually. But then, you know, they'll beat Gallus, and then I'm sure Javon will get his win over Joe Cobb. The point is this is booked... To try to get Javon over, okay? But here's the problem, which I can't believe I have to explain this. The dude's already over. He's been over since, like, the first time he had a big match on television. And what I want you to do, you don't have to take my word for it. Yes, of all the people on the show last night, maybe Joe Hendry in the main event segment, but of all the people on the show last night, he was the only one who was over at all. Okay? But watch that match last night and then go back like six weeks and watch how over he was six weeks ago. Okay? He was five times more over six weeks ago than he is now. All of this booking to get him over which is what they're trying to do, has done nothing but get him less over by the week. He is significantly less over now than he was when he first just showed up. And what did I say? I said, dude, this guy is over. The place is going nuts for this guy. Like, let's pull the trigger. Let's do something with him. No, we just can't do that yet. We've got we've to book him. We've got to give him storylines. We've got to give him challenges. We've got to book him to get him over. Well, all you've done is made him less over. <laughs> That's it. So do me a favor. Stop trying to get the guy over. It's just, he's already over. So let's have him like win some matches and push the guy. What in the world are we doing here?
He's not less over. He's less he hot. is. He's not. He's less hot. And oh, stop with over thinking, and hot. Oh, stop God. it. You stop because you think that they're trying to spite you with this. I don't think they're the trying to spite is, me. I think they're they trying to do something right, any... and it's making it worse. I'm not saying that they could have went another direction, but you have treated this from day one as if the Hindenburg is collapsing on top of you. I'm watching it collapse every week. And that's not true. And look, look. I'll give it till the beginning of the show on CW oh, because what this feels like right now, goofball, is the fact that they six had a weeks bunch ago of you said you'd give it a couple of weeks. Now they, you're going to give it till they go to CW. That's going to be like bunch, three months. They had a bunch of stuff set up already with TNA that obviously took some precedence here, and they had their stories. And I'm not saying that some of this holding pattern has been spectacular, but to treat it as if he has now fallen to the point where he's so he's so under, he can't be over like he was anymore, BS. At some point, that kid is going to be, just like Trick Williams, mega over. And there won't be any remembering of any of this stuff. You have to wait and till next year for it? You had a bunch of stuff leading into No Mercy that didn't include him. So, yeah, right now, in this time period, you have him in there with at least a really solid wrestler that people like you obviously can't stand, where at some point, he is going to get I to win over all of them. I don't hate Joe Coffey, but he's not over. And then over. he's going to move on to something else, which... For all of you know, Brian, could be Obafemi, it could be Ethan Page, yeah, I'll wait. it could be a lot of things, I'll, okay? I'll sit here and I'll wait for it. Yeah. Are you complaining I'm still about... waiting for Thea Hale to get like her big push. It's been like three years for her. Are you complaining about... Still like... too young. What are you... Comp... <laughs> Bro, you know what? Ridiculous. You know what? He was basically as over as Trick Williams six Let weeks ago. Let me tell ago. you something. As far now as now he's Thea not Hale even close. Goes, and I love Thea Hale. You're telling me that what they've done with a lot of the women there, and again... Could things be better for her? Absolutely. They could be a lot more perfect, but she had a title match. She had a good match with Roxanne Perez. She didn't lose anything in that loss. So to act like, oh my God, we've been waiting this long time. I we've have had been. multiple image changes with this woman. Yep. We have her toe-to-toe -to -toe with the women's champion. And at some point with Fallon Henley, with Roxanne Perez, and the way things are going, Jada Parker relatively quickly, She's going to be on the main roster, okay? Hey, Lenny, listen. This type of creative is why they struggle to make sustainable stars that connect to the audience. Lenny, with all due respect, would you shut up? Do you know what's happening on? Do you know what's happening on Dynamite tonight? You think the Javon booking is bad? Oh, you know yeah, what's happening well, on Dynamite tonight? You talking about Kyle? Ricochet versus Kyle Fletcher. Kyle okay? Fletcher. You know who's one of the best workers in all of AW is Kyle Fletcher. Do you realize? Oh. Do you realize that since October? He has lost every single solitary singles match he has had, with the exception of one win over Brian Cage, which was to set up a match with MJF, where he did a the best promo he's ever cut. He was as over as he's ever been going to that MJF match. They beat him, and now he's facing Ricochet tonight. And you know who's not going to lose on Dynamite tonight? Ricochet. So Kyle is going for yet another loss. Mm -hmm. I could go through about 50 guys exactly like this in AEW. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to hear about how, oh, it's a WWE thing and they don't know how to make stars. Pardon me. Get out Pardon of here, me, brother. Brian. This me. is a problem all over the place. Let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you a question. Here. Yes. Could they be going in the direction with Kyle Fletcher where he is getting... He never wins? These... Yes, they're going that direction. Well, that can be a part of a story. OK, and he can show out and he's now proven he can at least for once cut a promo. We, we know that he's got a little bit of a different look. He's Osprey's all of these things being established here. At some point, Mark Davis is coming back. At some point, we need to have some sort of explanation from Don Callis as to why he lets this kid Fletcher go on and do these things. So at some point, I have a feeling that is leading to something with Kyle Fletcher now. When that thing happens, will they do anything with them? We'll see. Because as you talked about with NXT, a lot of people there, they start off hot, and then they end up a lot colder, if not way under. Yeah, this is the problem with so many people booking. 
is sometimes you know you know what you know what reminds but me you of. Know, but hold on, hold on, Brian, hold on. Javon Evans is salvageable. Where salvageable, whereas a lot I'm not of people saying have he's not salvageable. Can't. I'm not saying he's not salvageable. I'm just irritated that. that he was over. And the more they book him, the less over he is. You wanted him to be the champion Listen, right off the I bat. I didn't say he needed to be the champion. Yes, I did not say he to. needed to be the champion. Go all the way with him. Shoot him to the moon. Yeah, they should have shot him to the moon. And they didn't. They turned him into every other guy in the NXT roster. Do you remember years ago when The Undertaker and Triple H got in the ring together and all they did was look at each other and then they looked at the WrestleMania sign? Do you know what they did after that? Nothing. They didn't do one angle. They didn't do a brawl. They didn't do a fight. Because it was very obvious that you didn't need to do anything else. And a good example, by the way, the is, a comparison. is uh, hey, I'll give you, okay, fine. Mercedes and Britt Baker. The most over that feud was, was the day Britt came back and she stared down Mercedes. Like, that was the most over it was. And you know what they did? They kept booking angles. They had to TV the point to book. <laughs> where they booked the worst angle I ever I saw on that collision show. Where Camille came out, and in a fair fight, she killed Britt Baker. She smashed her and left her for dead. Well. And I thought, this is appalling. But maybe Britt will beat her on Wednesday. <laughs> nope. By the time they were done booking that feud, no one cared. Sometimes something is and, over. And then they saw the match and really didn't Sometimes care. Sometimes something is over. And you just got to let it be over and keep your hands out of it. Stop messing around with it. God, you were literally handed, handed Javon Evans. And you had to book him into normalcy. He's every other geek on the roster right now. Way to go. He's sitting on a box backstage last week doing nothing, not even booked on the show. His job is to watch the Heritage Cup trophy. And then he gets yelled at, and who shows up but Cedric Alexander? Cedric Alexander. I got nothing against Cedric, but nobody in NXT cares at all about Cedric Alexander. And then he goes on and he loses to Gallus. What are we doing? Like, honestly, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I had so much news, didn't talk about any of it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.